LaMichael P. Ryan is a running back out of Florida. He's a senior. Uh, he's listed at 218, and uh, I've seen some reports that he dropped weight down to around 200. He's someone that's versatile. Uh, he projects as a three down back to my eye. Uh, he runs with great desire. Uh, I think that he puts me in the mind of uh, Mark Ingram in that respect. I've seen him most often projected as someone who would go on day three. I think if you get him in the fourth round, you'd have to feel really good about that. Uh, the music that you hear below my voice is an original composition. If you wish to support this channel, um, you can click the, uh, the link in the description box. It will take you to a place where you can listen to that composition and others uh, and download if you like. Thanks very much. He's very explosive through the hole. I think a lot of times people talk about burst, and really, to me, that's how quickly you can get uh, through the hole before it closes. Watch him follow right on the butt of the uh, pulling guard there. He's pretty patient getting through that hole, but he's reading about five yards down in front of him. He's reading that hole, but I think he's setting things up here visually. Uh, just bends right behind the guard, puts his foot in the ground. A lot of times you see guys get an angle on him or what looks like what might be an angle, and he just explodes. See him uh, lower his pads there. Right here you see him kind of take a look at this safety at a certain point right there. Turn his eyes. You're going to see the safety come into the screen. Looks like he's got an angle on him. He's just flying at this point. And so he may not be a guy that sort of runs super fast or in terms of the 40 at the combine. But when this guy gets out in space or he, he hits a hole, he gets through it in a hurry. And he knows how to finish. I'm going to let this play run, but I, I want us to watch. The, the Gators are running counter to this side. Um, the bottom of our screen. Watch how patient he is on this run, and then once he, he decides to hit it, how quickly he gets up field. And I'm talking about burst. Uh, right now, he's really got his shoulders in this direction towards this gap, and he's going to keep this defender pretty honest, helping out this tight end block. But also this linebacker here, just, just a little bit, he's going to freeze him um, to, to stay honest here in this gap. Uh, once he decides to turn this up field, cuts it close to this block, Looks like just he hasn't really turned the corner yet. Looks like two guys might have an angle on him. He's going to cut it close to this block here. Now, now that is that is uh, people talk about vision. To me, that's instinct. Uh, vision, vision is something you can coach to an extent. Uh, and this is just burst here. Watch this. Watch him split this these three defenders here. Uh, and the outside linebacker is going to, going to grab him up high, right around the five-yard line, get him around the a waist, but he finishes. I'm sorry, right around the seven or eight-yard line. So he's got great balance at the end, too. So this burst is impressive. This vision, uh, which I prefer to call instincts here in this case, uh, I'll let it run. I'll let this run, but it's more of the same. Uh, vision, burst, patience. Okay, so you see this big, what looks like a gigantic hole open up here. Watch him press this hole until the last second, and he's setting up this safety here. Guy comes downhill, big hole, right? 14's going to get off this block, too. So moving both of those blockers, or both those blockers are moving inside. He's coming down the hill at Perrine. Perrine, watch how patient he is. Right toward him, right toward him. And he's waiting on that block, waiting on this guy to get inside. Just at the, at the last second, he folds it out. And then there's that burst, man. There's that burst. Watch that vision. Watch him checking out his block in front of him. This, block sh this blocker shouldn't stop. Right there. These guys aren't going to catch him. He wants the sideline here, and if this guy can get on the uh, outside shoulder here, he's going to score on this too. Watch him take it down the sideline. Really, really nice. Uh, again, I think that's instinctive more than coached. Watch him um, as he takes the football, really reading his blocks here, and uh, reading in front of his blocks as well. You see all the same kind of things here. Balance at the end, just take, take it down the sideline. 
and I don't know how, I, I said it before, I don't know how fast he's going to test, test here. Watch him get flat here and stiff arm this, this defender. Defender grabs his face mask. Now, I'll show you how fast he is. This guy's got an angle on him, particularly with him getting uh, hung up here. Um, you can see when you tackle him high, he's going to get away. Watch him turn the corner here. Watch him turn the corner. This guy cannot, um, even with an angle, keep up with that burst. And I love his balance down the sideline here, too. Watch it again. Let's keep talking about his instincts, how he, how he reads defenders, how he reads blocks, uh, and start talking about how strong he is as a runner, uh, his balance, and how he finishes. Um, looks like straight up the middle run to me. Watch how quickly he determines uh, the guard being beat here. Reads the defender working inside immediately cuts it outside the guard I have no idea how he beats this block beats this uh, tackle here watch him lower his shoulders cut just at the last second that's just instincts there fold that in a little bit of bad tackling too probably lower his shoulder here watch him drag these three guys what one two three yards to pick up the first down keeps his legs going Patient runner, reading de defenders, and running hard. Of the runs we're highlighting, this might be my favorite one, and uh, it's a two-yard gain. That's Javon Kinlaw kind of beating that, that lineman inside there, and um, this is instincts right here. <laughs> watch, him, watch him sink his hips here. Watch how low he gets, and that's just instinct, right? He's just reading the fact that that lineman's beat, and he's dead to rights there. I watch him turn his back and, and spin to get around 96 here. Just falling forward. Just really, really instinctive, gritty running here. These three plays are, are back to back. Um, I like them because they show how tough he is. How you can depend on him to um, three times in a row to get you a first down in a close game where you can't afford to give the ball back. Yeah, he's physical. He takes a big shot at the end there. And then you need, you need him to pick up these last two yards. First play is Ken Long making a play. Yeah. yeah, and just gets it off. He's just, you know, he's just really, really good. Second play. This is nice running here. Real patient running um, behind his blocks. Watch him get small here and fold this in between these two. Take a violent, violent shot at the end here. So it just really highlights how tough he is. Still falls forward at the end there. I mean, that's a, that's a big, big hit. Look at that. Oof. Look at that. Still falls forward. And then third and two. You don't want to give the ball back here. Watch what he does here. Real patient setting this up. He's going to cut it back behind these blocks. He's going to see this guy squeezing. You can see him uh, actually looking and finding that defender. And then there's that burst. Just get upfield. This guy's got, looks like he's got an angle on him as he's squeezing down the line here. Drops his pads. Picks up an extra four or five. So I love that you can depend on him for, for to pick you up a first down, 10 yards, 10 yards plus, just giving him the ball three times. He's a three-down back. They, they favored him in the passing game, I think. A lot of screens to him. They'll, they'll, they'll set him, run him out of the slot, uh, out wide, put him out wide. Uh, here we see him catching a screen on third nine. Really, really capable uh, receiver. Um, just a little, little chip on the um, lineman there. You can see as soon as he turns around, he's reading those defenders and notes, notes that he has a two-on-one uh, disadvantage. Two defenders to this one blocker. Um, He's reading this defender, knowing that if he's outside, he doesn't really have to contend with him. But watch how close he stays to the block before he commits inside. Um, and that little head fake, that little juke there. See how he gets this guy to commit inside. Um, and so two on one didn't seem to matter. There's that burst. Uh, really a, a, a nice weapon for them in the passing game. Watch it again. You can't 
make him out quite. He's at the top of our screen, one on one, and uh, third and ten. That's who they go to. They're relying on him to, uh, when given that cushion, to beat the uh, defender, and that's exactly what he does. Has a feel for where the defender is as soon as he catches it here. He's going to bust it outside. Stiff arm, watch how low he gets, kind of keeps his balance. Uh, right here, really strong running, good balance. Hopping on one leg, pulls that leg free. He's going he's gonna to close the deal. This guy finishes, man. So I like how, you know, he's, he's out wide here. All the other receivers, and he's, he's the look. They trust him one-on-one -on -one to make this play on third down, and he does. Florida runs a flea flicker here, and you're going to see him pick up the safety who's coming downhill to uh, stop the run. So a little bit of him in pass protection here. It's a good job cleaning out the safety and uh, um, making some time for his quarterback there. Watch it again. 